safe and well. This is a video for the guys who have the independent travel pack. Now, just before we go into today's tasks, I want to apologise in advance for um, the poor quality of sound with my phone. I don't know what's going on with it just now, but hopefully you can still hear everything that I'm saying, guys, okay? So we'd like to turn to page 18, and it is called Toucan Crossing, okay? Now, we've done a wee bit of work on the Toucan Crossings before, um, both at you can and on the YouTube channel, so you can refer back to the other videos if you need to uh, refresh your memory about some of it or if you need a wee bit of help, okay? So I'm just going to bring the worksheet right up close to show you this bit, okay? So we're asking you to draw the signal that you would see next to the green man on a toucan crossing. So here we go. Right, so here's the green man, okay, on the toucan crossing and see this little bit here? That is giving another signal off, okay? So I want you to find out what signal that is, if you don't already know, and draw it in this circle here for me. Now, just remember, guys, that the word two is a clue, okay? So the crossing is for pedestrians, but it's also for someone else, okay? So try and remember first by yourself, if you can't, use the YouTube channel or you can use the internet, okay? Uh, to answer that. So the bit at the bottom is asking you to draw a pedestrian and a cyclist waiting in the correct places near the curb. Okay, so have a wee look here. Okay, so this is your pavement, here's your curb and here's your road where you're going to cross this section here. Okay, so if you're walking across here on foot, where should you be standing? Where's the safest place to stand while you're waiting for the light to change? Also, where should the cyclist wait here? Okay, so if you could draw those on there for me. Again, guys, it can just be wee stick men, things like that, okay? Uh, if you if you struggle with drawing, a bit like myself. Um, or if you're really good at drawing, you know, draw a fantastic picture, that would be great. Um, then, if you could turn to page 19, it's called Zebra Crosses. Okay, and all you have to do here simply, guys, is colour the stripes here so that they are black and white, exactly as you would see them outside on the road. And if you could colour the Belisha beacons in orange for us, because they flash orange, don't they? Um, and that's it, guys. So I hope you all have a lovely week, and I'll pop back later on in the week um, with some feedback on those worksheets for you. Um, I think Mr Sunshine's to come back. Yay! So get out there, guys. Stay safe, but get out and get some fresh air, do your daily exercise or get out in your garden, okay, and get some fresh air because it's really important to still keep active as much as we can just now, okay? Take care, bye!